All right, solving this problem. We use common denominators, so this common denom common denominators can be sine and cosine. So we get sine theta, cosine theta plus cosine squared theta minus uh, sine theta, cosine theta minus, or this becomes plus sine theta. And the reason it becomes plus is because we've got this minus here, and then it distributes, and we get a plus there. And then we got the common denominator sine theta, cosine theta. Ah. Uh, one thing I can work on is my drawing. Sine theta, cosine theta. Okay, um, well, the cool thing is, is right away, is this cosine squared and sine squared uh, can't uh, immediately go to one, so it becomes plus one. Don't forget to put that there. And the sine theta, or sine theta, cosine thetas cancel each other out, and we're just left with one over sine theta, cosine theta. So we get one over sine theta times 1 over cosine theta, uh, which is equal to cosecant theta times secant theta, which is exactly what we have above. It's just ranged differently, so I could just write secant theta cosecant theta, so it's equal to that. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.